The Hat's Best Rock, Rock 105.3. The Stones with Sympathy for the Devil at about 10 after 3 on Trapper John. We've got some special guests in studio. Say hello, guys, in Heaven's Basement. Hello. 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 They are from the UK. Maybe you can tell from the accent. Could you guys uh, introduce yourselves one by one, please? I'm Chris, the drummer. I'm Rob, the bassist. I'm Sid, the guitarist. And I'm Aaron, the vocalist. All right, so uh, maybe you can tell us, uh, you, you know, you guys have uh, made a pretty big name for yourselves over on your side of the pond, but I know you are a, a, a new entity to many people in North America, so maybe you can tell us a little bit about what Heaven's Basement is all about. Um, we're just uh, basically a bunch of English guys that love rock and roll and want to be in the best live rock and roll bands we can be in. So you've, you've played with some pretty huge names over uh, in festivals in Europe and whatnot, right? Uh, like Judas Priest, to Papa Roach, to Bon Jovi I've seen. Um, would you consider bands like those influences? I know we were talking about, uh, you, we just played the Stones, you like them. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're probably more like, take influence from the, like, the 60s and 70s bands. And then maybe skip some of the 80s and go straight to the heavier stuff. <laughs> but like, Stones, I, I love the Stones. So would you... Uh, Anything from the grunge era? Are you influenced by any of that kind of stuff? Alice in Chains, we really do. Mm. Yeah, have you heard the new Alice in Chains song? No, I saw that. I saw that on the internet today. I just haven't had a chance to listen to it yet. Yeah, yeah, we've actually got uh, post uh, linking to their lyric video for Hollow. What did you did you did you hear it? You, no, you no, said no, you I haven't had a chance to hear I it. I heard it a few weeks ago. I can't actually remember it, but I'm gonna listen to it again. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Hollow, okay. Yeah. Cool. I, I know you're looking to win more fans over here, and you'll be first on the bill tonight with Buck Cherry and One Bad Son down at the Esplanade. So people will want to get there early, what, like 7.30, something like that, to see yeah. you guys? Yeah, probably. And uh, how's the tour been going so far? How have you been liking the Canadian Arctic tuck the -tuck tuckiness or whatever you call awesome. it? It's been awesome. Not Canadians like to fight at gigs, which is interesting. Yeah, we've seen, we've seen about five fights so far, <laughs> and two of them have been women punching the men. <laughs> <laughs> which you got to respect, see what I mean? That's been great, though. Uh, we've played a butcher in the UK, so we know those guys really well, and when we got invited to do the tour in Canada, our first ever opportunity to come over here, it was like, yeah, we definitely want to come and do that. Uh, Canadian rock fans are like anywhere else in the world, really. Everyone's coming out and just like getting into it and stuff, so we've been well pleased. Even, cool. though, even though we're going on quite early, people are still showing um, enthusiasm. Do you find, is that tough, going on that early in gigs usually? Like, I mean, what do you do to uh, win the crowd over when you know everybody's kind of just getting into their seats, getting their beers, that kind of thing? You have to go out with the mentality of it doesn't matter how many people there, there are there. You have to, you're there to put on a show. And you're there, it, that show shouldn't really vary too much, whether it's 10 people or 10,000 people. Because we, you know, we're, we're getting close to doing both now. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> so, like, um, yeah, whenever we go out there, it's, you just kind of have to get into a, man a mentality of making sure that, People, people have got their eyes on you, but not in, not in a wrong way. In a way that they're enjoying the show, and you're kind of you, you're grabbing their attention because they want to be there. Yeah, it's like it's like there's something about Bon Scott. I read, um, I think Angus Young spoke about Bon Scott once, saying he could make a stadium feel like a club, and a club feel like a stadium with whoever was there. And I think we've kind of got that same mentality. Cool. Well, I know uh, a lot of people are excited about checking you guys out tonight at the Esplanade. I believe there's still some tickets at the door, but. We've got a special treat. You guys have agreed. I see a guitar in the corner of the studio there. Uh, tune? Could we could we hear a tune? Let's do a tune. Yep. Yeah. Okay. They are. Uh, I'll give you a play by play. They are picking up their instruments. They are getting into place right now. Should I put this down here? Uh, sure. Why not? That will work. Heaven's Basement is the name of the band. And what's the name of the song, guys? Uh, this is Fire Fire. All right. Let's hear it. Just do it yourself! 
find another new home. That's Heaven's Basement with Fire, Fire. That was uh, that was an excellent performance, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> the lead singer's like, nah, nah. nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no, that was really good. I was fucked up up in the acoustics. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you know what? We really enjoyed that. That was really good. Hey, look, I had a good time. Yeah, everybody in the background here is loving it. Uh, that now that's going to be one of the songs off your uh, debut full-length album, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's that's our, that's our first single. I think that's. Out now, the video is up as well. Okay, and uh, release. What's what's the name of the album? It's called Filthy Empire. Yeah. It's uh, out February fifth. Filthy. That seems to fit you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. It's a word that we just seem to say all of the time, so it seems pretty fit. <laughs> nice. And February fifth, you say. That's right. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, again, if you want to get down to the Esplanade to see these guys tonight, you'll want to get there early because they are the first band on the bill. So. I would get there uh, right after 7 o'clock-ish, 7.30, to uh, catch the whole Heaven's Basement set. Now, are you guys up for doing one more tune? Yeah, sure. Yeah? What's the name of this one going to be? Uh, which one is it? Nothing Left to Lose. Yeah. This song is Nothing Left to Lose. All right, let's hear it. <coughs> Chops up. <laughs> we'll just come straight in, yeah? After yeah. <laughs> Yeah! 
some tickets available at the door. I just want to close this off by saying uh, people can pick up the album as of the first week of February. On your Wikipedia page, Slash's vocalist Miles Kennedy remarked that Basement Band is effing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> They're one to watch out for. You've seen that quote? Uh, I guess, well, you know, if it's on the internet, it must be true. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, I think that's pretty good. You know, uh, Slash's newest project with Miles Kennedy on lead vocal. They're one of the biggest bands in rock over the past year, so that's yeah, uh, pretty high praise. So yeah, that's great. Expecting yeah. big things from you guys and expecting a great show down at the Esplanade tonight. Thanks again. Cheers for coming in here. No worries. Thanks, cheers. Thank I'd just you. like to uh, apologize for my F-bomb.